What you're looking at here is a Mercedes-Benz hot hatch SUV. It's the GLA 35 AMG. That AMG stands for something. It's the performance arm of Mercedes-Benz. In the past, the AMG badge was always reserved for the top-end Mercedes-Benz vehicles, the high-performance models. On true AMG vehicles, the engines are signed by the builders who assemble the engines by hand. But now the marketing department is applying the AMG badge to a wider range of Mercedes-Benz vehicles. Case in point, the GLA 35 AMG, which is a hot version of the redesigned GLA 250 and 250-4-matic crossover. So how did Mercedes-Benz transform this GLA 35 into an AMG? Well, they started with the engine. There is no signature on this motor, but it still delivers ample power. It's an upgrade from the GLA's regular 221 horsepower 2-liter turbo 4-banger. Instead, you get a 302 horsepower version that pumps out 295 pound-feet of torque. It's connected to an 8-speed dual-clutch transmission. It comes with the AMG Performance 4-matic variable all-wheel drive system. This hot hatch will propel you from 0 to 60 miles per hour in just 5 seconds. There's a little bit of turbo lag, but once it kicks in, it really does make a difference. Our test vehicle came with AMG springs and shocks. Aluminum lower control arms are used on the strut suspension up front to reduce the unsprung mass. You also get a four-link rear axle. There is also an optional AMG adaptive damping system that lets you pick between three different suspension control modes. In short, any AMG vehicle has a stiffer, sportier suspension. The road feel on our test vehicle was very good. On the front brakes, you get big, beefy rotors and four piston calipers. Big rotors on the back, too, with single piston calipers. The disc brakes are internally ventilated, and the calipers come with big AMG black lettering. The electric power steering can be set for either comfort or sport. The drivetrain is responsive. There's plenty of power here and minimal turbo lag. What you're really getting here, though, is a couple of vehicles in one. You can really change the vehicle characteristics by picking different driving modes. In comfort mode, it feels like a regular SUV. In sport mode, it really comes to life. To get the most out of the two liter turbocharged engine, you really need to put it into sport plus mode. This is a compact SUV with a split personality. In comfort mode, it's a practical daily driver, but you put it into Sport Plus mode, that's where the fun is. Then the engine really kicks in. The eight-speed dual-clutch transmission really delivers the power to the wheels through the 4 system. The shifts are positive, firm, it's responsive. It really comes to life. Then, in Sport Plus mode, that's when you have yourself a hot hatch. At higher speeds and tight corners, it does suffer from some understeer. This is a good platform. It is a rigid chassis. I would not say it's the stiffest in its class. The ride is on the harsh side. If you're focused on performance, you might like it. But for everyday use, bumps and potholes in the road could become quite an annoyance over time. The exterior styling looks aggressive. The front grille was inspired by the 1952 Mercedes-Benz 300 SL race car. 19-inch dual five-spoke alloys are standard. They will provide a smoother ride than the optional 21-inch wheels. Overall, the GLA 35 AMG has pretty nice lines. It is attractive. The interior is definitely Mercedes-Benz. The controls are laid out nicely. You have a touch pad here, which I like. Works well, but the voice command is more convenient. 760 AM radio. Church fun.
family settled on the date June 19, 1910, when the first Father's Day was celebrated in Spokane, Washington. Cup holders are good. Phone charging, available right there. You also get a double screen infotainment and gauge cluster. These rotary dial and push button controls mounted on the steering wheel are a nice option. You get the flat bottomed AMG steering wheel, supportive sporty front seats, upgraded sports seats are available, but the standard seats are sporty enough and are easier to get in and out of. This is technically a compact SUV, but in the back legroom is good. The GLA 35 AMG is up against some pretty stiff competition, even from within the Mercedes-Benz vehicle lineup itself. For instance, the GLA 45 is very similar, almost identical, and offers a 382 horsepower option. So who will this appeal to? A younger demographic, younger motorists looking for an SUV, but also performance. This is an emerging market segment, performance compact SUVs. For drivers looking for something practical that offers hot hatch performance and the prestige of an AMG badge, the GLA 35 AMG offers up just a touch of extra prestige performance and good overall value. For the Autos 360 Network and the SST Car Show, I'm Rick Walker.